Education is what survives when what has been learned has been forgotten. The way positive reinforcement is carried out is more important than the amount. If you insist that individual rights are the summum bonum, then the whole structure of society falls down. Religions work for their own aggrandizement, strengthen the church, and so on, and they use reinforcers of one kind or another to get obedience and so on from their communicants. The ideal of behaviorism is to eliminate coercion, to apply controls by changing the environment in such a way as to reinforce the kind of behavior that benefits everyone. The feeling of being interested can act as a kind of neurological signal, directing us to fruitful areas of inquiry. The environment will continue to deteriorate until pollution practices are abandoned. You can get along very well in this world by simply coming up with a quantity of reasonably valid statements. Even the mundane task of washing dishes by hand is an example of the small tasks and personal activities that once filled people's daily lives with a sense of achievement. The people who control the condition in which we live have no reason to think beyond more than the next five or ten years. Those few people who do respond to the dire conditions of the future's journalists, environmentalists, behavioral scientists tend not to be powerful. Must we wait for selection to solve the problems of overpopulation, exhaustion of resources, pollution of the environment, and a nuclear holocaust? Or can we take explicit steps to make our future more secure? In the latter case, must we not transcend selection? A person who has been punished is not less inclined to behave in a given way. At best, he learns how to avoid punishment. A failure is not always a mistake. It may simply be the best one can do under the circumstances. The real mistake is to stop trying.